everyone, it's Ruby and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get this makeup look right here. I'm also going to share with you all my updated highlighting and contouring routine. Using the AC on Tour Contouring and Highlighting Palette by Astralis. If you'd like to see my highlighting and contouring routine, then please skip to 320. If not, then sit back and enjoy this video. So I decided to go ahead and apply my foundation to start off with. I buff my foundation in with a Sedona lace brush and move straight onto my brows. For my brows, I'm using my Chi Chi eyebrow pencil. I love eyebrow pencils because you can quickly fill in your eyebrows and they look really natural. Set your brows in place with an eyebrow gel. This will keep them tidy and also hold your product in place throughout the night. It's time to move on to our eyes and prime our eyelids. Use your favorite eyeshadow primer and apply this from lash line all the way to brow bone. Don't forget your lower lash line and the inner corners as well. This eye makeup look that we're creating is really easy and you only need a few eyeshadows. I'm picking up this gold shade and I'm applying this on the inner corners of my eyes. I'm then going to use patting motions and sweeping motions to drag this color towards the center of and my And don't lid. forget to apply the same principles to your lower tear duct area as well. So now it's time to show some love to the crease and outer corners of our eyes. I'm picking up this pretty auburn shade and running this above my crease using a fluffy brush. This is going to be our transition color. I'm also running this on my lower lash line using a smaller, more precise brush to make sure that I apply this color as close to the base of my lashes as possible. Alrighty, so it's time to build up the intensity of our eyes. I'm using my Bobbi Brown eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be patting this beautiful chocolate brown shade onto the outer corners of my eyes and also on the lid area as well. I'm using a big fluffy brush to diffuse this color in the transition shade. Switch back to the brush that we used earlier and run the Shane Chocolate Brown shade on your lower lash line, concentrating most of the color on the outer third of Take the eye. Take your eyes. blending brush again just to soften everything on the lower lash line. And it doesn't hurt if you go over your entire eye makeup look, diffusing and blending everything out. To define the eyes, I'm going to be applying eyeliner to my tight line and also my waterline. For best results, you want to use an eyeliner that's very black and also smudge proof. Now all I'm going to be doing here is using my gel liner to line the top lash line just slightly as close to my lashes as possible. I'm keeping the line on my lid fairly simple and also standard. You can also create a wing liner if you'd like, but I decided to keep it nice and simple. Match up your line with your other eye so your eyes look as closely identical as possible. This step is optional, but I'm applying some eyeliner to the outer third of my lower lash line and this is just going to define my eyes even further. I'm also buffing this out so it can give my eyes a smoldering effect. Now this step is easy, I'm pretty sure you all know how to do this, but I'm applying lashings of mascara. I'm talking about coats and coats and layers of mascara on both my top and lower lashes because let's face it, Kim Kardashian has been blessed with amazing eyelashes and I'm just going to try and get as close to hers as possible. And that's our eyes done. Told you it was easy. Now feast your eyes on this. I wanna introduce you to my new favorite contouring palette. And this is big for me to say, considering the fact I'm a huge fan of cream contouring products. His name is the AC on Tour Australis Contouring and Highlighting Palette and I have a feeling that we're going to be together for a really, really long time. Before I go ahead and show you how to use this palette, I'm going to firstly apply my highlighting concealer to the innermost part of my eyes just to knock out that darkness. I'm applying this down my nose, on my forehead and also on my cupid's bow. And all you need to do now is blend away with a small synthetic brush. My number one rule when applying powdered contour products is to apply a face powder on top of your foundation. It's really important that you set your foundation and it also means that your contouring products can glide over the powder instead of clinging onto the cream and liquid products. This kit has three different shades of contour so you can definitely find the right contour shade for you to match your skin tone. I'm applying this first contour shade kind of like a bronzer but the reason why I'm doing this is because just like you have your transitional shade for your eyeshadow this is going to be my transitional shade for my face so that the contour color that I'm going to be applying over this shade makes our face and our contour look natural. Applying your contour shade definitely stops you getting that striped contour look across your cheek. Now to actually apply your contour product you want to use an angled brush. If your cheekbones aren't as prominent as mine, what you can do is take a brush and lay this flat against your face and place the tip of the brush to the top of your ear. 
You should get a diagonal line and that will give you a good indication of where you should apply your contour product. I decided to use the second powder in the kit to create my contour. This shade is cooler compared to the two other powders in this kit. And since this is a cooler shade of contour, it will mimic a shadow really well. I'm also applying a touch of this shade on the temples, forehead and also on my jawline. Because of this powder's cool shade, this works really well when contouring the nose. I'm using a small detailed brush to draw two lines on each side of my nose bridge. Draw two lines that connect like a V-shape to define the tip of the nose. And with whatever product is left on my brush, I'm drawing two faint lines up on my nose bridge. The top part of my nose is already skinny so I don't want to make it too slender. And if you don't like the length of your nose and you'd like to shorten it, then draw a faint line across the nose bridge close to the tip of the nose. Now, I know what you're thinking. How do I blend out my contour shade without completely getting rid of it? How do I make it look natural and still make it look like I've had a nose job but I haven't? Well, the answer is face powder. Dip your brush in a bit of face powder before diffusing the lines of your contour. And this will help blend the contour seamlessly into the skin. It's time to really brighten up that under eye area. Now there is a shade of yellow powder in the contour kit and what you're going to do is take that yellow shade and apply this underneath our eyes. This is really going to help brighten up this area. I'm using a concealer brush and I'm picking up a little bit of this product at a time and using circular motions to buff this product onto my skin. And you can already see the difference, I haven't used much at all and that side of my face is looking a lot brighter compared to the other side. The yellow powder does a really good job at correcting any red to the skin and it also means that the darkness that we get underneath our eyes will also be concealed. And cue heavenly music. This palette is seriously good. The final step is to obviously highlight. I'm using the highlighting shade which is top right in this kit and I'm applying this to the high points of my face. This includes my cheekbones, down my nose, a little bit on my forehead and mostly on my cupid's bow because I really do want to bring my lips forward. This makes my top lip look fuller and poutier. Speaking of lips, I think it's time that we get some colour on them. I'm using a nude lip liner to line my lips and slightly fill them in. Once you've done that, press your lips together to blend the product in and it's time to apply your lipstick. I'm applying a nude lipstick over my lip liner just to pile down my lips before applying my lip gloss. The lip gloss that I'm using is also a nude shade and I'm applying this using a lip brush and I'm just focusing this shade on the center of my lips because we all know a glossy shade of lipstick or lip gloss that's placed in the center of our lips makes our lips look a lot fuller. And this is the finished look guys. I hope you enjoyed my take on a Kim Kardashian makeup look and that you also enjoyed and learned something about my updated highlighting and contouring routine. As you can see from the before and afters, my face looks a lot more defined and sculpted. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.